हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द सीएसआर नेट मैथमेटिक्स 2025 टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व द मार्कोफ चेन प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच इज फ्रॉम द पार्ट सी माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश गर्ग यू कैन फॉलो माय YouTube चैनल वेयर यू कैन फाइंड द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन द सीएसआर नेट मैथमेटिक्स यू कैन सी आई हैड अपलोडेड द सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ द सीएसआर नेट मैथमेटिक्स एज़ वेल एज़ द गेट 2025 मैथमेटिक्स सॉल्यूशन कंप्लीट यू कैन फॉलो एंड सब्सक्राइब माय YouTube चैनल for the more details now i uploaded this questions because i have received the one comment on the student that sir kindly upload the markov chain portion so that's why i today today i received the comments and i uploaded the videos right now how you can solve this markov chain problem in a very very simple manner always remember you have if you already watch my this markov chain lecture series which are available in the same playlist you can see it's a 12 year py question series complete all are available in this playlist fine once you watch all these my questions then these videos will helpful for you to learn how you can attempt the question in the examinations and moreover they not only give you the answer in the less time but also improve your thought process but the only thing is you have to keep your minds in a positive thinking i hope you can like and comment on this video as well how you can solve this question in a very very simple manner first of all can you draw the i will tell you the two different method to solve this problem fine so please be be patient till the end i will tell you the two different method to solve the problem so this is the from 0 to 1 and 0 to 2 1 to 0 1 to 2 0 to 2 and 0 to 1 is it fine this is given to you now clearly say all these three states 0 1 and 3 are commute to each other that means all these three states behave a like fine the fourth option is the cancel state 1 is not transient why because if you start from the state 1 you can easily come back at the state 1 that means all these states are my recurrent states fine so if in say fifth for example if somebody will ask you whether the state 2 is the transient this option is also cancel out is it okay now look at the first options second options and the third option firstly i will tell you the first and the second options i will tell you the two different method first method is the shortcut tricks fine and the second method i will tell you the normal method your target is to find the 0 0 of the 2 look at the transition diagram your target is to start from the zero this is my starting point and this is my ending point fine your target is to start from the zero ending at the point zero after how many time periods two step periods so that means this the one and two now if you look more to the diagram can you start from the zero move to the one stage so i can move from the zero to one one to zero any other way i can go from the 0 to 2 and then 2 to 0 these are the two time periods any else no so that means your answer from the 0 to 1 this is my 0 1 2 2. what is the probability of the 0 to 1 half 1 to 0 3 by 4 so the answer of this is this multiply this similarly for the second case 0 to 2 answer is half this is 3 to 4 from 0 answer is 3 by 8 so your total answer will be from this case is 3 by 8 plus 3 by 8 that will be 3 by 4 so yes first option is the correct answer fine now i will tell you that how you can solve this question this part with this second method how you can find this question by this second method so your target is to find the p 0 0 of 2 that means your target is to find the p square and once you can compute the p square you will get this 3 cross 3 matrix and your target is to find only for the 0 to 0 that means only this value 0 0 means that is this is my row and this is my column so that means how you can find the p square zero row that is zero half half this is my zero row column is also zero column is my zero 3 by 4 3 by 4 there is no need to compute the complete matrix because i need only the 0 0 so 
सो कैन यू गेट द आंसर जीरो प्लस थ्री ओवर एट प्लस थ्री ओवर एट आंसर इज थ्री ओवर फोर अगेन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन नाउ लुक एट द सेकेंड ऑप्शन अगेन इन द सेकेंड ऑप्शन आई विल गिव द टू डिफरेंट मैथड्स द फर्स्ट मैथड इज द इजिएस्ट वन दैट इज द शॉर्टकट ट्विक्स फाइन हाउ यू कैन गेट दिस शॉर्टकट ट्विक्स दैट्स वाई आई एम आस्किंग यू यू मस्ट वॉच अबाउट माई दिस पी वाई क्वेश्चन सीरीज you if you watch all these py question series you will get all these methods your target is to find 1 to 0 in the time period 3 you start from the 1 ending at the 0 with the three time periods that is the three step 1 2 and 3 fine if you look for the diagram how you can start from the 1 fine how you can start from the 1 and reaching at the 0 with the three time periods the one ways you can go from 1 to 2 and then 2 to 1 and 1 to 0 fine or is there any other way yes if you go from 1 to 0 fine 0 to 2 and then 2 to 0 or if you go from 1 to 0 0 to 1 1 to 0 is there any other way no fine now you can find the probability what is the probability of 1 to 2 1 to 2 that is a 1 over 4 2 to 1 It's again one over four, one to zero, three over four. So you can multiply them. It is my three over sixty-four. Look at this case, one to zero, one to zero is my three over four. Zero to two, zero to two is my half. Two to zero is three by four. So again, you can see the answer is nine over thirty-two. One to zero is three by four. Zero to one is half. One to zero is Three by four. So again, you can see it's a nine over sixteen thirty-two. So final answer will be you can add them. So it's a three over sixty-four plus eighteen over thirty-two. So sixty-four will be the LCM. Three plus thirty-six. That is my thirty-nine over sixty-four. Yes, second option is also the correct option. This is the first method. Now. how you can solve this second answer with the help of this second method choice on you in the examination choice on you your target is to find the time periods 3 p cube that will be p square into p but your target is to find the 1 0 that means out of these nine elements your target is to find the first this is the 1 0 only this value fine that means this is my first row This is row and this is column. So the column will be zero column. So zero column is my zero, three by four, three by four. Fine. And this is my p square. Firstly, we can find the p square of the second row element. Fine. So can you find the second element of the second row of the p square? So that's a very simple. You can see it's a zero, three by four, three by four. Half zero one over four half one over four zero. Now can you find the first element of this? It is my first row. Sorry, uh, this is one row zero column. So three by four zero zero three by sixteen. So this answer is three over sixteen. Can you find this element? That is a multiply by this row with the second column. So it is my three over eight plus zero. Plus one over sixteen. Sixteen is LCM. Six plus one seventeen over sixteen. Similarly for the this row and the last column is a three by eight zero zero. Answer is three over eight. Now you can multiply them three over sixteen seven over sixteen three over eighteen. So you, now if you multiply them is a zero twenty one over sixty four plus nine over thirty two. Now you can see sixty four is LCM. Twenty-one plus eighteen again. It is thirty-nine over sixty-four. Fine. There is no need to compute the complete matrix element. That will waste is of the time. Okay. Now, uh, let me clear the screen. Now, the last part is how you can find the stationary probability. So, if you remember my shortcut tricks, you can always start from the I minus P transpose and consider any two rows. Consider any 
two rows. Fine. So I can write that. I can consider the first and the two. This is my matrix, and it is system. The first two values are my zero. Last value is always one. Fine. Now, if you consider the i minus p, what will happen? It is one, and taking the transpose, it is minus half, minus half. It is minus three by four, one, minus one by four, minus three by four, minus one over four, and one. So I can choose any of the two rows. I can choose the first and the second row. Fine. It is minus one. Minus one over four, and the last row is the sum of the probability is my one. That is p one plus p two plus p three is equal to one. That's why right hand side is my one. Now, how you can solve the problems? So clearly say if I use r three minus r one, so this value will be zero. Fine. So how can I can change the last row? This is zero. One minus it's a seven over four. One minus it's a seven over four. This value is still one. Fine. I can multiply the last row by seven by four. So this number will be my one. This is my one, and this number will be my four over seven. Is it fine? Now I can make this number as a zero. How you can make this number as a zero? I can multiply the first row by half, and then adding in the second column. So it is my zero. It is one minus three over eight. So this is my five over eight. This is minus one over four minus three over eight. So again, it is minus five over eight. And the right hand side is zero plus zero is a zero, and same. Fine. Now you can see I can multiply the second row by five over eight. This number will be my one. This number will be my minus one. Fine, and this number is zero. Now you can choose R three minus R two. This is a zero. This is my two, and this is still four over seven. Now you can get the answer from the last row. You can see two times of the probability because this is my x, which is equal to four over seven. That means the third state transition probability is two over seven. Look at the second. P two minus P three is equal to zero. So that means p two is also two over seven, and this is the sta uh, stationary probability. Stationary probability of the state two is two over seven. And if you, if somebody will ask you find the probability of the one, we know the sum of the probability is one. So it's a two over seven, two over seven. So remaining is three over seven. Otherwise, you can write the equation from the first row minus three over four p two minus three over four p three. Which is a zero. You can also find the value of p one. You will get three over seven. And you can see now the correct answers are a, b, and c are the right answer of the problem. So you can remember this shortcut tricks, which is available in this Markov chain lectures. You must watch about my these Markov chain lectures to get the full knowledge. So I hope you can like and comment on this video whether you enjoy this session or not. I will upload the next lecture on the linear algebra very soon. Real analysis I already uploaded. You can see which is available in this playlist. Real analysis which is available very soon to you. So don't forget to share this video with your friends. Best of luck, students. Happy learning.